All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and finish up the uh, Hierophant social link. Hey. This will be the last time we hang out with JB in a in a social link. So uh. let's go ahead and get it started up. Oh man, our first rank ten. You know, I just looked outside. And let's take a walk. Yeah. There's somewhere I want to go with you and Nanako. Oh, and here. So every time you reach rank 10 with a social link, they'll give you an item in order to commemorate said social link. And I think this is a new game plus item that you get to keep. It's the same kind that so you can have multiple games. copies of the personal this mug. Is personal mug. Write your name on it later. Uh, uh, thank you. Naturally, with rank 10s, it doesn't really matter what you say, considering it's over now. But still, it's nice to thank you. So I'll fill yours and Nanako's mugs. Oh, don't forget that. Dojima's so cool. Ready, Dad? I don't even mind that he was the Lord of Let's Darkness go. in Klonoa. Let's go, big to me, he's he's always Boris, Ryotaro, and Wonder Yellow. Ah, uh, JB Blank is so cool, and he has a cool name too. I'm so happy that it's so scary. Aww. Don't fall in. Cause that'd be another thing that Nanako needs on top of her on top of her list of shit to do. Falling into the river. As if her life had not already had a few not enough pitfalls. Yeah. Yay! Can I go closer to the river? The fish might be sleeping. How do fish sleep? All right, all right. I've always was curious about that question. I know that's not exactly pertinent okay. to Persona, but I'm curious. Do they just float there, or do they rest in the bottom? Or do they even sleep? I'm gonna keep up my search for the criminal who ran over Chisaka. I don't blame you. This time, it's not to escape. Yeah. Just doing it because I'm a detective. There you go, Riataro. I forgot something as basic as that. You made me remember what's important to me. I owe you for that. Rank 10, the whole point is to it's feel a sense of you you've truly come person. to understand the character fully. That's why I'm gonna live on. You've helped them Protecting accept a part of themselves that they'd rather not admit. Detective. Pretty much the whole base of persona. As a father. Well, that's the whole point of these social links. Speaking of persona and, and Atlas, uh, Geni Ikimbukuro uh, hashtag FE. I think, or Sharp FE. They had more stuff on that. And they just announced, like, Navarre and, uh... Oh, uh, Lunk and Abel. And I swear, this game just has, like, a huge affection with Shadow Dragon, the original Fire Emblem, and with Awakening. And I get those are two, like, really important, but if I do not see Ike in that game, I'm going to be very pissed. Because I'm looking forward to that game, but I was promised Ike. Ike is the best character from Fire Emblem. Best Lord character. Also, new Smash Bros. character. Bayo got in, so that's awesome. Cloud also got in, but I'm playing as him. He's pretty sweet. Uh, oh, and Corinne, the new main character from Fire Emblem Fates, is also in there. So People are probably already pissed off about that, but I think it's kind of cool. He's part dragon, or she's part dragon. Uh oh. What sounds like there's some crime. You there? What's wrong? Detective Dojima? At the very least, he's not being called uh, on his phone. You while you're off duty. I don't sweat it. Who are they? Oh, it's that group of juvie thieves. You know, the one that's been the talk of the town. I hope it's not Kanji. Thieves? Those punks. Kanji wouldn't steal anything. Dad, are you going? I have to. I'm a detective. Yeah. Arresting the bad guys is my, I mean, your father's job. I'm not your father. Sorry, but take care of Nanako. Go get him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dojima's super stoked about going fight criminals. Don't you know who I am? I'm Detective Dojima of the Inaba PD, feared by punks and thugs citywide. Don't you? Oh man, Dojima is so freaking cool. He never takes that jacket off his shoulder. All right, stop right there, you punk. Yeah. Go get him, Dad. 
Ah, he is cool. Let's go home. I need to get the bath ready. You feel much safer knowing that Dojima is kicking the teeth in of all the neighborhood street punks. Oh boy. Oh, I need to look up. Hang on. One minute. I need to look up, uh, because today we need to do the social link for Yumi. So give me one quick second. Uh, hang on. What is her S link at right now? It is, son, it is at five. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And do I have a Persona of the Sun Archon? I'm pretty sure. Uh... No, I don't. I do not have a Persona of the Sun Arcana. So I need to go into town and swap that out right quick. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Just had to swap out some Personas really quick. Let's talk to Yumi, shall we? Hello, Melissa Fawn. How are you doing? It's time to hang out with Neptunia and her terrible game. Uh, I do not get why people... Well, I get why people like that game, but I just don't personally like it. I'll drop by if I can make it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. She does not really... She's not feeling it. She's having a pretty bad time, what with her shitbag dad dying. And I say shitbag, I'm... Well... Having an affair is not really the best. Is not really the sign of a good character. It's not really the sign of a very, uh... Upstanding character. Oh, but she's in the hospital. I thought you said you didn't give a shit if he died. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you mean the bad guy from, uh... From, uh, Guilty Gear? Cool. How was your ma? She's already out of the hospital. Came here to pick up some medicine for mom. Smile like he was so happy. Well, you are his kid. Well, he's trying to make amends. All excited. My dad's such a baka. Well, you know, at the, at the end of the day, he is still your dad. Can you keep your voice down, please? People are trying to nap. Our residents are trying to nap. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I love that little Simpsons gag. Does not matter. You're not the only one. It's your fault. <laughs> You're not the only one. No one can understand what I'm going through. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's got the blushy blush. You know what that means. You know what that means in anime. Blushy blush means sex. <laughs> No, it doesn't. It means she's got the feelings for you, Baka. I'll see you at school. Bye then. <sighs> okay. Pretty sure we're gonna have to. Welcome back. Oh, it's time for the midnight channel. So you know what that means. It's time to get ready for another dungeon. I wonder who's going to be on the Midnight Channel tonight. Hmm. I wonder. But since that means Midnight Channel, that we're going to go into the TV world next episode, we're going to have to cut this episode a little short. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, gee, I wonder who that is. A girl wearing a swimsuit. Who is that? I don't know. Yes, she looks like Risei Kujikawa. There you go. Yep. It keeps showing her wiggling her butt. You don't know why. <laughs> she, 
She keeps wiggling her butt suggestively. You have no idea why she's doing that. <laughs> Could this be part of Risei's, like, social link thing? Yo, this case can't pretty. I don't know. You're right. Thought so. <laughs> oh, I guess I should be so excited. Yeah. Yeah, put your creepy boner away, Yosuke. We should go there tomorrow. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, oh yeah, Maruku Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. Yosuke, What's calm that? down. Put it away. Ugh. Yosuke was ridiculously upbeat about the prospect of Risei getting kidnapped. It's honestly kind of disturbing and creepy. You decide not to- you decide to secretly judge Yosuke. Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. I have no idea if Kujikawa is a common name or not, so I can't say it's like a Smith or a... or like a Johnson. I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maruku. I don't know, Japan. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... Different? Didn't she seem like she was wiggling was her, her butt too much? Her? Curves, her posture, and her beautiful slim legs. Okay. Okay. Huh? What's that look for? Oh. Anyways, Yosuke, you are such a fucking dirtbag. Such a dirtbag. Uh, are we going? <laughs> Starts talking about how Risei's super hot, and then just eyes down Chie in disapproving and disapproving and disapprovement. You're not like my you're not like my idol waifu. Really, Chie? Really? Somebody might be kidnapped and you do not want to help. But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation. That means if we had to feel her up, well, so be it. I'm willing to take that bullet for the team, says Yosuke. Uh. Oh, look. Adachi's doing something. Go on by this way. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm probably just gonna shit my pants or puke in that garbage can for some reason. Oh, it's you guys. I, uh, yeah. Oh, Adachi. Keep Forever useless. <laughs> Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kujikawa. No, we didn't know. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plain clothes detective is here doing traffic. Especially you, Adachi. Oh, You're not well, useful for anything. The police department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Oh, that's a good reason. Because you don't have that many people, so you're just like, ah, screw it. Throw a dachi there. He can't screw that up. You would think. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty. Well, it's a dachi, though. I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. Again, scaring a dachi isn't really that big of an accomplishment. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's kind of a loser. You think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target, too? Why would they think that? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Where's my coffee, you shit? Oh boy, it's my uncle. Damn it! I told him not to leave his. <laughs> <laughs> so he does it immediately. Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi, are you? Ah, uh, Dojima, come on, don't do that. Of your business, if you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? Well, we came to see Rise. I'm gonna be up front with him. Oh, um, well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm not gonna lie to him. I've already lied enough. Hmm. Fine. But remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her... That is true. Don't bother Laura Bailey too much. She's just a regular person, just like you and me. Only she's adored by thousands of people. So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, I'm not. Yosuke is. Well, but then again, that's nothing new. Once. We can't just tell him everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. <laughs> we'll only look like we're fucking insane. You got a point there. Ah, uh, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. Aw, oh, man. I totally wanted to see her sweet gam gams. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Fun to just sit out there like an idiot? A rumor? What? She's not here? Seriously? 
<laughs> Dude, we can still get at it, gather info. Like the world's about <laughs> I love you, Kanji. Always shitting on Yosuke when necessary. We'll check inside. I'll buy something. Uh, I see. The correct answer is Ganmodoki, considering. How do you know I can't eat tofu? Well, that's considered a yeah, you guess it because you don't know that Yosuke can't eat tofu. Wait, you have to get, you have to like do this a few it? times. Is it the kind with the rice cake in it? I don't know what Ganmadoki is. There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and. Crash course on Ganmadoki. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can. Eat Why would you buy food that you can't ingest? I get you're going in there not to like. I get it's kind of like you don't shit in the you don't shit in the uh, the fast food restaurant's bathroom and then just not buy anything because that's kind of an asshole move. But still, I don't know. Typical old lady doesn't usually wear pigtails. Oh, there she is. What? Then who's that? It's Laura Bailey. Are you Risei? Yeah, so? <laughs> She's very tired. No way. Are you really Risei? I like to think this is this is Laura mean? Bailey's usual day. Oh, Constantly sorry. getting harassed by fans. Doing like, are you seriously Laura Bailey? Yeah, okay. Which sure, one? you want me to do the cute voice? I'll do that voice. Which one can you do Lust you from Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah, I guess I can. So, you should go with Silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh... Shut up, Yosuke. <laughs> Kanji, order Just get Ganmo. You already said that. Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Yeah. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. She's tired. Then again, I get. I guess Laura Bailey's usual schedule is pretty tiring. She seems on TV. Voice actors have a lot of shit they need to She's do. Just tired. It's not easy. But it's really her. I'm so glad I came. I, I went to uh, a voice acting camp this one time, and I've already seen, I kind of got a little bit of a small taste of what it's kind of like to be a voice actor. A lot of shit to do. A lot, a lot of shit. Like stalkers? Like you? Are you guys fans of mine? Weird, like Yosuke? He's totally got a big old hug pillow. You little, why'd you let that slip? He's got a hug pillow of Risei. posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet? I love you, Kanji. I love you so much. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> He's calling them out. He's calling Yosuke out on how be I'm being so freaking creepy. Already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating. I'm sure Risei's not going to play that big of a part in the game even though she was in the opening credits of the game and she's on the box. I'm sure she's not a huge part of this game. I mean, and the fact that Persona 4 Dancing All Night focuses like almost explicitly on her. No, nah, she's not important. Last night, the Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. Ooh. And the bust line. Huh? Wow. Mine aren't that bad. Wow, very open about that. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Shut up, Yosuke. I mean, what am I saying? Wow, uh, talking about her boobs right in front of her. Don't That's cool. So much. You're funny. No, he's not. Hey, he's funny in a in a kind of pathetic way. What is that show about anyway? It's about murder. Well, we're not too sure either. But you know, there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. So maybe you should totally ditch town. I know this is sudden, but we're not. Lying. Yeah, we don't look suspicious at all. That's why we thought you should. Know at all. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Huh. Hmm. So she's surprised. Right, we're actually re surprisingly on top of this. We're warning the victim, the possible victim. It's like Minority Report. We know there's going to be a future crime, so we're... There's extra tofu in there for everyone. Oh, that's sweet of her. We're warning the possible victim so she knows exactly what's up, and she's somewhat informed about the subject, at, about the matter at hand. Alright, cool. Block of tofu. Maybe you can eat it for dinner. 
I've never had tofu before. Because I like meat too much. I prefer steak. Mmm. Delicious, delicious cow meat. Thank you very much. Your receipts or chicken back. meat. Seems like or pork. Out, so we'll be leaving mm. now. If it gets so ready, tasty. Yeah, just give us a call at the station. Yeah, okay. give a call directly to Adachi. He'll save you. Sorry, but there's some things but if you actually want to be protected, it's called JB. You do know that there have been multiple <laughs> Dojima will take care of everything. Yeah, have you seen anyone suspicious yeah those high schoolers who came in. The one with the orange hair? Super suspicious. Like always. Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, Well, and it comes with the territory. What made you take a break from showbiz? Is that... Does it really matter? Yeah, does that matter to the case? Somebody just closed their door next door. I just need a rest. That's understandable. Um, have you Shit is cray cray. I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Oh, cool. She's going to our high school. Uh, I don't mean Interesting. Boring, but you do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why... Well, you know. I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. <laughs> oh, we're busted. How do I put it? Friggin' Dojima's gonna hammer us when we get back. Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Oh, he is so decked. <laughs> it's cool, we maximized our social link with Dojima, so probably he won't be too mad. Hmm. Something smells here. Recent disappearances between those and the two homicides. There's too many questions with no answers. I'm starting to think that my nephew and his friends are possible kidnappers. How could high school kids who know less than beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? I mean, if I was talking to a famous celebrity, like one of my favorite voice actors, I'd definitely bring like a DVD or a video game to get signed. Yasugami Hut. The second victim is Saki Kunishi. Maybe we should just burn down the school. That'll stop the kidnappings. So clearly the only way to stop the kidnappings in, Yat in uh, Inaba is to A, burn down the uh, news station in order to get rid of the news, period, and to burn down the high school so no, no more high school students get kidnapped. Perfect plan. That way, the, that way the murderer can't possibly find us. They'll never catch us. Got a lot of tofu. And I'm gonna just say this right now. I don't like it. <laughs> you visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? Uh I'm not gonna lie to him. About the cases. I told you to keep your hands up. I'm a loose cannon cub, Dojima. What do you want from me? Take my badge and gun. <laughs> Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. That's cool. I mentioned this before. In Dancing All Night, there's like a scene where Nanako is like auditioning to be, uh, is auditioning to do like an idol, an idol, uh, an idol program. And she, and she makes one of the more uh, recent idols go like, oh jeez, oh jeez, this kid is stealing my, is uh, blocking my shine. Oh jeez, this kid's gonna make, it's gonna take my place and replace me. Oh no. <laughs> And then just starts sweating nervously. I wonder if we're going to get more creepy visions of Rise on, t on the Midnight Channel. Let's see. Survey says... Yes. Yes, we will. Yep, there we go. Art emphasized. Super emphasized. Yep, that's what, that's what anime girls do. They do the hand wavy things. Should you try calling Yosuke? Yeah, this couldn't go bad. Sure. Let's hear Yosuke perv out a little bit. We were right about it being Risei Kujikawa. The one on tonight seemed a lot creepier than the real Risei, but you can see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Okay, at least he knows it's creepy. I forget, is there really a point in calling everybody before, uh, before going to bed? 
like in these kind of cases, whenever you all know who it is. Eh. Would you like to save your p thus far? Sure. Let's go ahead and save right here. Game's making me save already. I guess it realizes, hey, you did a lot of shit. How about you save? So about the midnight channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. Because it showed her face and doing the anime idol shaky hands. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Are broadcasted on TV. Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. And that they're all female. We can rule that out too. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the Of shop. course you took a peek. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Hmm, I wonder what Rise is going to be about whenever she's inevitably thrown in. On entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. You're just now starting to get that it might be true. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown on Seriously? You're just now getting this? We see them on the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? It's like a warning, yeah, I guess. It happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a okay. note. To steal a joke from the best friends, clearly the only way to prevent like somebody getting kidnapped is to throw them under a bunch of coats. Nobody would find them and then just wait it out. You just wait it out. They gotta find... The kidnappers gotta find them. But they can't find them underneath coats. Cops can't stop you. Murderers can't catch you. Maybe it does the same Clearly. Thing. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we So have. technically it could be any one of us. So I could probably suspect any of you. Yosuke. That's what we see on TV. Yosuke, how lo where were you last night? When Rise wasn't in the TV. I say. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. Uh, I think so too. I would agree with that sentiment. Oh, as always, nothing makes As sense. always, this TV shit is stupid. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. He's asleep. Uh, well, uh, uh, well, um... You weren't sleepy. Were you? <laughs> uh, of course not. I was uh <clears throat> lost in thought. It's cool, Kanji. Nobody blames you. I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy I want to be part of that world. So maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first Cuz they're fucked in the head, Yukiko. You must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted It's the perfect crime. So the Who's going to believe you throw somebody in the TV? About the Nobody. Crime. That's who. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? I don't think it's really a grudge. There's a shitload of people who've got my number. Ooh. How about you, Yukiko Senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. No. I'm super popular. Everybody loves me. There's always a slight chance, and you... You just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a I don't know, maybe that creepy Mitsuo guy who was outside the school might have something to do with this. He seemed kind of creepy. Like he wasn't on the level. We have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. And tell us what. I did it because I thought it was cool. Wait. We get to do another state. No. Hell yeah. This time we'll catch him in the act. Yeah, because that went so well last time. Although, to be fair, I guess since Kanji's with us, it, could pro it couldn't possibly go as bad as it did last time. We gotta go with donuts and milk. Mm. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Donuts and coffee. Although I hate coffee. For what? Although I also hate milk. Milkshakes I'm good with. But keep the donuts. Donuts are good. Need donuts and soda. Mmm. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Mmm. Some good old donuts. Those are good. 
Oh, look, if it isn't Adachi. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? What brings you here? I'm just here being oh, cheeky. Uh, well, you know, I'm doing leg work. just being Adachi. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting? Because you're a loser. I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? Shut up, Adachi. We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise chan. Oh, look, I was going there too. Oh, what a coinky dink. Hey, I'm on my way there too. <laughs> oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. I guess that's a good train of thought. Having an active on duty detective slash cop near you isn't really a bad thing. Nobody's gonna uh, come mess with you. Even if... Just because we know Adachi sucks doesn't mean the criminal... the uh, murderer knows. The culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past her like a thousand times over. <laughs> that looks suspicious. I don't mean to walk around in circles. <laughs> We're ready for you, you bastard. Look. Me and a bunch of high school kids. What the fuck? Who's there? Um. Look out! I'm Yotaku Man. He. Hey, he's running away. Get Quick, get Peter Parker. Otaku Man. Otaku Man. Lives his life. Funny, in the... Really? We can't catch this guy in jeans. Don't come near me. Hmm. Shut up. What kind of idiot would listen to? I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? Oh, jeez, my Akajo. <laughs> what? Oh, no, my Akajo windbreaker. If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and. If. Uh... <laughs> I'll do it, I swear. So, so get out of here. Stop. Meanwhile, they're talking, and a car just rams him. Boom. What should we do? Uh. I say we. Uh, mm, uh, from behind. Get behind him. How are we supposed to get behind? I don't know. That's up to you. Come on, let's just take him down. We serpentine. All right. That's how we do it. My mark. Look over there, a Martian. See, that's how you get him from behind. Oh. <laughs> uh. How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like? How dare you? I'm pretty up. sure that's uh, we'll Sam Regal doing a stupid there. voice. Yeah, that's Sam. It's no use playing dumb. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think this is our guy. He's just an average, ordinary pervert, not a murderer. Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about. Well, there are actually a few ways about this Adachi. I don't think we should probably just. We'll hear your story down at the station. I've waited to use that line. To be fair, that is a pretty good line to Please, use. And if you were in a position like if you were an officer, you'd probably want to use that line. Save it for the judge, creepo. Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Time to arrest the creeper. Than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. We didn't do anything. It's not the guy. You really should stop getting involved with this stuff. Could you imagine if this guy was the final boss of Persona 4? Come on, let's go. Now you will see that you do not know my power. I am the Dark Lord of the TV world. <sighs> it's just scratchy voice teen from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, jeez. If I don't kidnap another teenager, my boss will kill me. Mr. Papadopoulos will kill me. <laughs> ah! I dropped him in a deep fryer. We should let Risa know the good news. And I'm stealing Simpsons material as well as best friends material. Oh, hello. Would you like some? My granddaughter got kidnapped. Oh, uh, hello. She kind of got kidnapped while you guys were acting like fucking idiots. She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. You guys are stupid. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. 
She'll just wander out without a word. You guys are shit tier. Anyway, thanks for having my granddaughter get kidnapped, assholes. I need to go make more tofu. Come on, you worry too much. She must have just We totally caught the murderer. Look at him. This guy. Total murderer. I mean, look at him. Just has murder written all over his face. Excuse me. I mean, if this guy isn't the murderer, why do I have egg on my face? But that's not going to be the case. Because he's a murderer. And I'm going to prosecute him to the full extent of the law. You're going to go to jail for 30 years. You know what they do to guys like you there. It ain't over easy. That's a line from Shrek. From Puss in Boots. I like that movie, because I'm a dachi and I have terrible taste. Oh, guys, we fucked up. I hate to break it to you guys, but I think we fucked up. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? But I thought we caught the murderer, you guys. Be good. I'm wrong. We totally caught him. We just got taken away to the police station. Clearly, we caught the actual murderer. The man says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. Tune in, Tokyo. <laughs> we are the worst. We are actually the worst. Oh. Welcome back. Welcome back. You got a fish in the mail. <laughs> Big bro, I don't know why you buy fish on <laughs> through TV, but okay, I'm not going to judge you. Just don't pull a code Geass with that fish. That's all I'm gonna say. I know you're voiced by that same. I know you're a voice actor in that mo in that show, and I know that's technically Yuri Lowenthal's character. But I'm just saying. I'm not saying I'm judging, but I'm also not saying I'm not judging. Anyway, so here's this stupid bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to say we didn't catch the murderer. Standards and practices? What are standards and practices? It's time for me to get totally naked. Oh, that was creepy. Is if you watch this, you're gonna be put on a list somewhere. It's not a good one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Teddy just like uh comes on the screen like bear it all, Sensei. Shut up, Teddy. She's gonna be bare naked. I saw a lot of reset on TV. Yosuke. Calm down. Put it away. Uh, we're in no rush. Let's rescue her quick. Yeah, exactly. Because I bet her shadow self is gonna do whatever it wants again. Although maybe we could kind of wait it out a little bit. I'm not saying let her die, but you know, I kind of want to see where it goes with this whole bearing it all thing. No, that's not cool. Okay, whatever. Just saying. Let me have this. <laughs> Please let me have this. Please. That's all I want. I just... <laughs> oh, Yosuke, you fucking shit to shit bag. Well. It's time to gather clues on, Reese, on uh, Reese and where she went. And, well, more clues about her. Rubbing your girlfriend in my face. Whoa, what? The... Don't be a hater, I mean it. Eh. So they're talking about uh, Okina Island and shit. Okina City. We'll deal with that later. Alright, it's time to gather clues about Risa. Hey, Teddy! You okay? I wasn't crying. Aww. Everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. Teddy, somebody got kidnapped. It's not exactly fun. 
I'm sorry. Does somebody need a bear hug? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless Oh. I don't even know what I am. Sam Regal, no. Figure it out. No one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. They were having fun I getting so kidnapped. I tried to cry. But I couldn't. Aw, Ted. Well, you are hollow inside. Yosuke, shut up. Shut up! Stop saying I'm hollow! I hate that bleach anime. Snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on. I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonely. <laughs> oh. I'm so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly. Oh, out. Teddy, no. That's gross. Maybe don't pet the bear. That might get creepy. Can I try scoring with you two someday? Oh, dear. Sure. Go right ahead. Ah. Uh. Can we please drop the whole I agree. <laughs> Yukiko's not into the idea of bestiality, although apparently Chie is kind of up for it. Learn something new about Chie. You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge Wow, Yosuke, kick a guy while he's down, don't you? Pretty shabby bear. Soon I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. Do you feel good about yourself, Yosuke? That's not true. I can stay with you all? Just because Yosuke's a shitbag doesn't mean you're useless. You search, like Do you feel good about yourself, Yosuke? Do you feel like a big man? Sure, kicking a guy while he's down? Someone in here. Hmm? I think about a guy who's just stuck in isolation just in the TV world? And just calling him useless? Do you feel good about yourself? You feel proud about that whole notion? There's a lot of things I don't understand. Me too. Look, I got your back, buddy. It's cool. Thank you very much. You're really kind. You're gonna need to stop that berry talk though, because I'm starting to get a little annoyed by that. Find his role in life. Know your role, sucker. Know your role. It is time for a new social link, and this one upgrades itself automatically. It is the social link of the star. For the JoJo Archon, for the JoJo character, this is pretty much Jotaro Kujo. I don't think I need to say anything about him and how different he is from Teddy. <clears throat> but let me go ahead and talk about it. <clears throat> the star Arcana is also commonly associated with hope, self-confidence, faith, uh, altruism, luck, generosity, peace, and joy. In gameplay, the personas of the Star Arcana commonly excel in wind or ice elemental attacks, but are often vulnerable to fire-based attacks. Personas of the Star Arcana are sometimes astrological figures, but many star personas are simply multi-talented figures or deities with many different, different spheres of influence. Most characters of the Star Arcana exude hopefulness and joy. That pretty much fits Teddy to a T. Okay, let's go start looking for clues on where Rise went off to. Or more clues about Rise. Let's see. Let's, well, first things first, probably should go talk to her grandma. Who's just a store. Paparat. Paparat. Paparazzi. Okay, paparazzo. So, now we need to go, all right, uh, questions in, okay, now we need to go to the floodplain. I disagree. Uh, I agree. Alright, I don't think that guy's the guy. Um, is he over? My wife's pretty had that Rise Kujikawa thing. Uh, do, do, do. Hang on, there's gotta be a paparazzi guy around here somewhere. Is this it? This guy? Are you from around here? Could I ask you something? 
sock down. Mori Ronmaru. I think this is just a side quest. I'll bring it to you. I'm not gonna do that. That one has no relevance, but it would be a dick move not to just say, hey, alright, how about this guy? No small fairy pants. Hear her out. Old key. I'll look for it. Acquire an old key. Okay. Is he by the actual flood? Where is he? I might need a friggin' cut here. Let's see how goes the fishing. Never mind. Oh, damn it. I pressed the fish tips. Fish tips! Okay, hang on. Maraku Tofu. Uh, PB, second floor. Going to town. Um, oh, okay, okay. Now I get it. I need to go back to school here. Go to the practice building. And I need to go up to the second floor. Where is it? Or wait. Do I need to talk to this guy first? Oh my god, everybody just wants something to do here. Ugh, everybody's just asking for shit. Okay, second floor of the pla practice building. Plaque this building. Let's see. Uh, no. Okay, here we go. This guy. This creepy guy. I'm her biggest fan. I'm like a diehard. Oh. Status update. I'm bigger than the bomb. She dropped out taking time off the little RR and blog. I was a flat but I guess there's not much I can do about it. Seems like a lot on her mind. Should ask around. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the guy I needed to talk to. So now I need to go to. Now I need to go to Maraku Tofu. Well. Let's try the same again. Wow, oh, floodplain. Let's just go to the floodplain again. See if we can find the paparazzi guy. Maybe by talking to that one creepy guy, I have somehow popped him into existence. Well, Yosuke has disappeared. Is this the guy? Paparazzi. I don't know about them. They're obviously from out of town, so they caught my eye. I mean, maybe you should return tomorrow. Okay. Uh. Quest in Metalworks. Okay, so. Metalworks. Hang on. I'm trying to figure out a bunch. I know I'm not really saying much of substance right now, but I'm trying to, f like, decipher all of this uh, various text. Maybe there's something in the. So I had to go to the metalworks. By the way, do you know what the Inaba Trout are? Okay. He wants an Inaba Trout. Can I have it? Sure. Hang on. I'm gonna make a weapon out of this fish. Behold. The fish knife. <laughs> so so we just gave Daidara a fucking fish, and he made it. He made a fish knife. He made a fish knife. Hang on. All right, let's uh, mm, let's see what. Cause I think there's another social link that we need to do. Yeah, it's with I Abihara. So let's go talk to I real quick, and then uh, on the next episode we'll finish up. Dealing with, uh, looking for clues for Risei, and then we'll go into the TV world. That's what we'll do. Oh, and while we're at it, we'll also do the Empress. We'll start and finish the Empress Arcana. So that'll be a good way to do an episode. Let's hang out at the eye. Sure. We're getting close to actually more, you know, combat and shit. Y you know... Thanks. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, because the last time we did the moon social link, everybody was an asshole. 
One or two. What are you talking about? Oh, well, they were dirtbagged, and they will get their just rewards one day. They will know what happens when you incur my wrath. In a weird mood. I know, because you got the blushy blushes. Wow, she's really into it. What should I do? I think I'm in love. With... In love with who, I wonder. Back on that day. It's Daisuke Kuhn. Oh, shot down. She doesn't like you, she likes Daisuke. If he has a girlfriend. Well, I know the answer, but have a little confidence. That might help. Yeah, you're gonna get shot down pretty hard. The anime does not um, handle this very well. Well, the game. Mm. Mm. So I have to be her wingman, essentially, in trying to get her to hook up with Daisuke. Although, if you played it from the other, uh, from the other end of the Strength Arcana, you would uh, she'd have feelings for Ko. And there's a clear-cut difference. Whereas Daisuke does not really care for girls in the least bit, much less, uh, let's see, the answer is no problem. Uh, while Daisuke does not really care for girls and just wants to focus on soccer, and especially does not like girls like I, um, Ko obviously has some kind of feelings for Chie. So that's, so you can already kind of tell they, there's going to be some issues. Work as a janitor. All right. So on the next episode, we'll actually hang out with Nanako and we'll gather the final bit of clues on Risei's lo location. And then we'll also go into the TV world and save her. All right. So I think that'll do pretty well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, until next time.